hey, hey. What it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. Throwing down on another morning video. That's right. And of course, as we continue on, the talk of Wilder versus Fury 2. I'm going to change it up a little bit today on my live stream. But we will. Oh, you promise. I promise. We will get into it also. But getting into it, we got Roy Jones sticking his nose and giving his comment. Matter of fact, I'm putting people on blast today. You know, either you're going to be with a motherfucker or you're just going to say hell. The hell are we with it? But keep your criticism to yourself, bitch. You weren't that spectacular. Especially at Deontay Wilder's age. Deontay Wilder is learning on the job. You can say what you want about who he fought. You can say what you want. How? technical he is you can say what you want how unorthodox he is but one thing oh one thing you can't say is that he don't carry himself like a champion one thing you cannot say is he don't hold his head up like a champion it's one thing you cannot say is that he did not wear that WBC green belt strap like a champion let me give you an example Anthony Joshua has more than one belt and no matter how many he has he do not, and I repeat, he do not wear him like a champion. Uh, I'm sorry, but he wear him like a bitch. That's how he wear him. And that's what I have to say about Roy Jones Jr. smart ass mouth. Now, for you all that don't remember, Roy Jones Jr. was educated, was trained by HBO. So he took what he learned and he brought it over to where the fuck he at. Now, being a trainer didn't work out so good for your ass, did it? Huh? Hello? Well, maybe, maybe I should ask Antonio Tarver. Maybe that'll shut your ass up. Now, don't get me wrong, kings and queens. Sometimes, he do have a point or two that might be married. Matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to read a little bit of what he had to say about our champion. Oh, yes, our champion. I told you, and I'm going to tell you again, you do not, and I repeat, you do not have to wear a belt to be a champion. A champion is in your heart. A champ is in your demeanor. See, the reason why I keep on bringing up Anthony Joshua because he's the other part of this equation. He's the other part that's holding those belts. He shouldn't be, but he is. They maneuvered. They could not. They lied. Everything not to face Deontay Wilder. Not even a good an hour. One hour. As he lost. Now, all of a sudden, you want to make a unification fight. More sooner than later. That's what I call a bitch type move. 
But what you expect? I'm sorry, you can't people. I'm, I assume you are beautiful people. You are. Even them boxing fans are beautiful people. Even the trolls are beautiful people. They just don't know no better. They just been hoodwinked and bamboozled by Jim Jones. Oh, I'm sorry. Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn, that's right. That's his name, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn for snake. See, that's what I'm thinking about, a snake. For you science majors, for you animal lovers, a snake reproduces itself. In other words, they have men parts and they have women parts. So, in other words, when I tell Eddie Hearn, go fuck yourself, he literally can't go fuck yourself because that's what snakes do to reproduce. Do you feel me? Do you understand me? KQ ain't no dummy. So when I say that he's a snake, trust me. He reproducing snakes himself. Like Anthony Joshua. He spawned that bitch. He spawned Big Baby Miller. He spawned Dylan White. He spawned a lot of snakes. And they gonna reproduce themselves. Keep in mind, you heard it right here from the singing OG, KQ, K to the motherfucking C. Now, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Hell, let's be about it, huh? Hey, let's about about it. Now, the former fourth division world champion, Roy Jones Jr., believes that Tyson Fury had begun to break down Deontay Wilder in the very first round. Now, this is the very first round, okay? Now, Wilder went down in the third and the fifth before Fury stopped him in the seventh round of their WBC heavyweight title rematch that took place at the MVM Grand on Saturday night. Now, the first contest that took place in December 2018 ended in a controversy 12 round split draw now this is how uh, well there is now a trilogy fight in play now as Wilder tends to exercise a contractual clause to force an immediate third fight and when I say immediate it will be immediate we talking about July. They must go in that ring by July. So if I was Wilder, I would postpone that African trip. Get my ass in there. Strategize. If you have to bring somebody in there, hey, be my guest. Do what you got to do to win. That's the name of the game. The name of the game is hit and don't get hit. If you see that big ass train or truck coming at you, you step to the side or you run up and clinch or you hit his ass with a chain cook. It's many things you can do, haters. There's many adjustments you can do, haters. You can come in small as you want to, haters. Because we all know when you came in at 209, you still had that power. You still had it. So, I say to you, I mean, I'm no, I'm no trainer. Hell, I'm definitely no motherfucker, a, 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 a fighter. But, you get the idea. In other words, let me put it in layman's term. Fuck that. He can adjust to anything. He's more than just a right hand. Remember that? You riding the fence, motherfuckers. Huh? Now, as I go on, if I may, I told you, I, I, bring, I bring you the news, goddammit, and I'm gonna bring it to you. Now, Wilder not happy with the stoppage, we know that. 
Yeah, which happened uh, when in his court and went through the town. He didn't like it. Probably feels that he still had a chance because he dropped Fury two times in the first fight. But he was feeling much better in that fight because Fury wasn't fighting with a game plan. He was still learning him. This is what Jones said on CBS Sports uh, uh, State of Comeback podcast. In other words, bullshit. Okay, um, now, in the second fight, okay, Fury had a great game plan and it was executing it to the T. Now, this is Roy Jones talking that shit. He was executing it to the T and there was nothing to do for Wilder but go down here. There was no uphill for him in that fight. And anybody that thought he had a chance is crazy. Because Fury had broken him down from round one. And he was going downhill since then. If Wilder threw or thought he had a chance, he was wrong. And I'm sorry for that. That's just what the facts are. No. Roy No Roy That's not the facts Now Roy goes on to say He doesn't view Wilder as the type Of opponent to Secure Fury that form Or recognition And he explained why With a clear target on Wilder's long win streak Listen up my people And listen to this very well you can't call Fury an all-time, all-timer because the bully, he referred to Wilder, just haven't been bullied yet. Jones said, the bully beat a lot of people. Don't get me wrong. But if you look back at the names on Wilder's record, they don't add up. To the names on Mike Tyson's record. The only person that has a record. That we knew anything about. And he never had a professional career. And was celebrated amateur. At best was Luis Ortiz. Well we know he's the second best heavyweight. Uh, 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 um, I always said that. And he said Ortiz was a good fighter. But. With his lack of pro experience, Wilder took him into deep waters and drowned him. That's the only real fighter I see on his record that you can say this guy is a real credible fighter because of his amateur career, because he hasn't beaten anybody as a pro either. So when you look at it, Tyson Fury did take a bully. That haven't been beat yet. And no one thought he could be beat. And he walked him down and beat him. Right now. He still has to beat a few more fighters. To become one of the greats. But he is a great fighter. I told Tyson Fury. About four to five years ago. That if you get yourself together. And rededicate yourself. You can be all these guys. That's what he's doing right now. Now, Roy Jones Jr. Motherfucker, whose side are you on? Either the United States or the UK. Fuck Tyson Fury. And another thing. Allow me to answer this question. No. It's a lot of fighters that you don't know who they are. Why? Because the heavyweight division was in Dorman. There wasn't nobody out there but Klitschko and Fury. That's it. And to Josh, yes, he came on along. And remember this. Wilder started boxing late. And caught on fast. And got his opponent out the way. Every man they put in front of him, he got out the way. And remember... And you of all people should know. You can get caught. By any Uber driver. Truck driver. Cab driver. Bum. Whatever you want to call them. 
I told you about that scared mice. That scared mice will bite your ass if he is cornered. So give me this self pity. Shit. Don't give me this phony HBO expertise shit. Cause that's all it is. Bullshit. You know where the heavyweight division stood. You know where Deontay Wilder stood. He could have fought Anthony Johnson, yes. He could have fought a lot of fighters. Either they dropped dirty or they were scared of that right hand. What can you do with that? You can't blackmail them and make them fight you. You can't do that. If they don't want to fight you, you got to move on and go to the next one and the next one and the next one. You should know that. So, before I close, oh, before I close, sometimes, sometimes you got to shut the fuck up. Sometimes you got to think before you talk. Sometimes you got to think it through before you open your big ass mouth. You wasn't that great, Roy. Now, everybody else might give you all the praises and this and that but it's so goddamn funny that you Floyd Andre you know and many more you all are Americans but you don't talk like one you don't walk like one and every time I see one of you motherfuckers your nose is growing and you know what I mean I am KQ KC Boxing Network. Oh, if you like the content of this video, I guarantee you, you're going to like the live stream today at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. But hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. You will get notified each and every time I do a video like this one. And also, my live stream, Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. Central Time. You will get notified for that. And also, you will get notified each and every time I call a fight. I don't give a fuck if it's Friday night or Saturday night. Hell, it can be on Monday night. You will get notified. And yes, I do appear on OG Boxing Sunday. Right off of... For now, International Boxing Channel. I be working. I be grinding. I do this for me and my subscribers. So join. So join. Come on and join the KQ, the KC, the singing motherfucking OG family. Because we are a family. We are the LDBC family. Love, light. And share this video. And I want to, I want, I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think about the great Roy Jones fucking Jr. And with that, that's all I have. Shout out to the Almighty LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers. So with that, peace, King and Queens. Assalamualaikum, and peace. Be on to you. I'm on. I am on to the next.